we are going to discuss with sexually transmitted disease that is STDs or sexually transmitted infection STIs this also known as reproductive tract infection RTI venereal disease VD or international disease friends there are more than 1 million sexually transmitted disease that are acquired every day worldwide here what are STDs so these are disease or infections which are transmitted through sexual intercourse for example there is gonorrhea syphilis genital herpes hepatitis B chlamydiasis genital warts trichomoniasis and HIV leading to AIDS these are few very common most STDs there is also so many like GRDSS Entrobiasis Candiasis but we have to focus only about these that are given in NCRT now how these infections caused by so most of the STDs are caused by bacteria as well as viruses but there are few which are caused by protozoans nematodes fungus etc mostly STDs as we know sexually transmitted disease they transferred when an individual person comes in sexual contact while there are also few which are non sexually transmitted this is because of infection or disease like hepatitis B HIV these can also be transmitted by sharing of injections needles surgical instruments etc with infected person transfusion of blood or from an infected mother to the fetus may also be the same kind of infections some infections like herpes syphilis they may also increases the risk of HIV infection this is three to four time with respect to normal HIV infection now about treatment hepatitis B that is caused by hepatitis B virus genital herpes that is caused by herpes simplex virus HIV infection leading into AIDS that is caused by HIV virus and genital warts that is caused by human papilloma virus these four STDs or STI are non curable or there is no treatment for these four while rest other STDs they are completely curable if they detected earlier and properly treated now about symptoms so in case of STDs earlier symptoms in most of the cases are very minor and this includes itching swelling fluid discharge and slight pain in abdominal region or in genital region infected females may often be asymptomatic it means there is no symptoms reflected in females those who are infected by STDs earlier and hence may remain undetected for a long so in absence of symptoms there is no treatment or no cure that's why this will cause a spreading of disorders a spreading of disease from one person to another person now what are the reasons for spread and the problems related due to late treatment so as we earlier discussed early symptoms are not there so absence or less significant symptoms in early stages of infections and social belief that are related with STDs means no one wants to try share such kind of disease or infections attached to STDs stop the infected person from proper treatment this causes pelvic inflammatory disorder or disease that is inflammation in pelvic region of female and sometimes this may also leads into 
no pregnancy there may also be abortions that is termination of pregnancy there may be still births still birth is the delivery after 20 week of pregnancy of a baby who has earlier died in uterus of their mother loss of a baby before the 20th week of pregnancy is also called a miscarriage there are nearly one individuals out of 200 pregnancies that are suffering with still birth conditions ectopic pregnancy this is implantation of fertilized egg other than uterus most of the time this is inside the fallopian tube or uterian tube and there is no future of such type of implantation because of the narrowness of fallopian tube these implanted fertilized egg cannot fully converted into fetus that's why there is no chances of their child birth or parturition this also leads death of that respective female if she continues with this ectopic type of pregnancy so very soon if there is such type of pregnancy there will be removal of that kind of embryo or implanted egg is very very necessary stds may also leads into infertility or sometime even there may also be cancer of reproductive tract now age group related with the infection though all persons are easily harmed by these infections their incidence are reported to be very high in the age group of 15 to 24 years so 15 to 24 years age group is very severe for getting infected with stds now how to prevent spreading of stds so there is no reason to become panic because prevention is possible for most of the stds as we discuss except hepatitis b genital warts genital herpes and hiv infection there is treatment for all the remaining stds or sti but we have to follow some simple methods which are given here the first a individual person have to avoid sex with unknown or multiple partners second the individual always have to use condom during sexual intercourse or quietus and third in case of any doubt related with stds that he or she is suffering with that or not there must be consultancy with a qualified doctor for early detection and get complete treatment if diagnosed with the particular type of std